Good. Uh, hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Amsur Amsur webinar on differential geometry. It is a pleasure to have you all here. We begin our second semester of, of this year. Uh, the first talk today of this semester will be given by Marco Salvai, who is a professor at the Universidad Nacional de Córdoba in Argentina. Uh, he will speak about. Uh, oh, I tell you a little bit. Maximum vorticity of sections of the orthonormal frame bundle via calibrations. Ah. Okay, well, thank you, Marcos. You can go ahead, please. Uh, thank you, Adrian. Oh, so, subscribe to the. Oh, what? Oh, <laughs> ah. What? Uh, uh, no, the people is coming and I cannot see. Well, uh, thank you very much for the invitation. It is a pleasure and a, a, a honor, an, an honor for me to talk in this seminar. Well, first, uh, I, would, I would like to, um, to say something. Uh, suppose we have um, a body in our space. I will be interested in, in certain uh, special motions of the body uh, in, in, as follows. Uh, if you want to translate the body in this direction, you, you must also simultaneously, simultaneously plot any, for any uh, translation. If you want to rotate it in this direction, you must also um, rotate it along that direction and, and for every direction, for this one, for the oblique ones, it, it, always the same, the same pattern. This will be uh, they, they are called these uh, screw radial motions. And the other thing is uh, uh, with, uh, with this uh, uh, other pot, another potato, we can visualize that uh, the position of the positions of the body may be um, identified with the, with the elements of the orthonormal frame bundle. One position, um, this will be, for, for instance, the reference state. One position, another position is another element of the orthonormal frame bundle. I, I mean the, the positively oriented frame bundle. Well, after saying, having said that, uh, I can uh, I com, uh, compartir ventana and control L, como dice Carlos. I will talk about this maximal vorticity of section of the orthonormal free bundle via calibrations. And well, sections of the orthonormal free bundle of uh, I will in all, all the always will be three-dimensional manifolds. Let SO3 R3 be the fiber bundle of all direct orthonormal frames of R3. Direct means uh, positively oriented. Suppose we have a body center at the origin, what I said before, then S over three may be thought of as the set of all positions of the body in R3. And a section of the fiber bundle may be thought of as assigning to each point X in R3, a position of the body centered at X. Uh, for instance, uh, this, the trivial section B not is X in X, the identity, that is the position I, I assign at the point X is just translated the, the body from the origin. This is, and then, and here the, this example is the, uh, the one I, I made uh, a few minutes ago with, with the potato. The screw radial section with angular speed lambda is defined so. D of uh, point X is X R lambda X, where one R zero is the identity, and for X uh, not zero, R, R lambda X, X is the rotation around the axis determined by X through the angle lambda uh, uh, length of X. That is uh, what I said before, moving from the origin, moving away from the origin in direction X entails rotating simultaneously through an angle lambda 
uh, length of x around the oriented straight line determined by x. Well, now, broadly speaking, we are, in, we are interested in the following. To which extent a local section of the, of the orthonormal free bundle of R3 at each point resembles B near the origin. So uh, if I have a section that, that at any point resembles the, this uh, uh, section B at, at the, near the origin, uh, the, then I will be happy. The, the, this is uh, this is not a precisely stated question, yes? Why? So, uh, but we studied the problem in a more general context. Let them be a three-dimensional oriented Riemannian manifold and, and a point O in M. We consider its direct orthonormal Frey bundle is uh, of S of M is the set of uh, linear transform, linear Direct, direct means the orientation preserver, I said, yeah? F is a direct linear isometry from, from uh, the tangent space I have this uh, point I have chosen to TPM for all P. The, the usual way of defining is instead of putting here this uh, one special tangent bundle is uh, putting R3. This is the, the usual way of defining the orthonormal free bundle, this uh, has some advantages for us. Uh, we think of the, of the body uh, uh, with reference position at this point zero and uh, at this point O, et cetera. Well, but this, uh, the, the, you, you know very well the, this bundle. So uh, now, uh, oh, well, if you have a section of the orthonormal free bundle, and the direction at the point P, one defines in the usual way this operator, nabla B and B, goes from the tangent of zero to the tangent of TPM. I won't write down the definition, but it is what what uh, it should be, what you what what uh, what you, you what it should be, uh, and this is so. It is also a, a frame. A frame, but uh, hey, uh, Marcus, can I ask you uh, real quick? What's what's the origin in M? And uh, any 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 point, it doesn't matter. I chose any point. And okay, so okay, so this is a, this would be a, a parallel transport. Uh, yes. Uh, well, it it means how uh, here here below we will see. Mm, it is more or less that it, that that it is defined here on TPM. On TPM, uh, uh, this is uh, j just uh, to write down the frame. Here, when when I tell uh, when I come to to this display, you you will we, we, you will be okay. okay. Otherwise, you tell me, yeah. Except for the isomorphisms BP, the, this uh, given the frame. Nabla B is skew-symmetric. One can think, think it of skew-symmetric as a map here in TPM. And so it can be realized as the, as the cross, I think uh, that, uh, uh, that answers uh, your question maybe, yes? The, uh, something, you have rotations, uh, you, have, uh, um, uh, you have orthonormal frame bundles, the, uh, a derivative is, is something uh, skew-symmetric, as you know. Well, otherwise, tell me. Nabla BB is skew-symmetric, so it can be realized as the cross product with a fixed tangent vector BB. Uh, skew-symmetric um, skew um, in R3 may be realized as, as, as a a cross product against uh, against or uh, with a fixed vector uh, with a fixed vector. So uh, let us hear the display. Nabla B, Nabla B in the direction of B is an element here. I apply to some element U in the reference, in the, the reference uh, tangent space. And when I apply BU, I am already in the tangent space at P. 
that, that one should be. Uh, what, what should think uh, that uh, we are actually at, at the uh, at TPM, and then I make the cross product uh, with BB. Good. Uh, this is uh, thus uh, given a section B of the direct orthonormal frames that the section B is given. We can associate to each local vector field B on M on the three dimensional manifold M a local vector field B to the B. Hmm? So to, uh, to to this vector B, I associate this vector. Uh, B to the B associated uh, depends on the section. That means if you if you translate in the direction of B, then simultaneously you you must uh, rotate around this vector BB. Hmm? And the longer the vector BB, the longer this vector, the most uh, this most more more in, more intense is the rotation, as you know. Well, that is. And now I define what are called optimal screwed sections of orthonormal frame bundles. This, uh, this is not a, a, an interesting concept, this optimal. Uh, uh, I, I will define here the, the concept of, of, B, of a section of the orthonormal frame bundle, frame bundle be, being optimal screwed. It is not interesting, not, not very interesting, but it, it, too, it is too re restrictive. So uh, I just put it uh, because of the so we get acquainted with uh, with the concept of of this uh, screwiness. But uh, well, I say um, ah, a section a, a section of the orthonormal free, free, um, frame bundle is said to be optimal screwed is if B B equals B. So these two vectors, V and this, this coincide for any local vector field B. And for the space forms, we have uh, that uh, for the sphere, there, there, there is an optimal screw, uh, an optimal screw uh, section of the orthonormal free bundle is given, if you think of the sphere at the unit quaternions and, and, and put uh, the, the, the point, uh, you take the point O as, as the unity of the quaternions, then uh, these, are, these are frames, these are frames, LP denotes left multiplication. Uh, this, this section of the frame bundle, the, the differential of LP at one is optimal screwed. Uh, here in, in, the, in this case, if you are, if you are at the point, then you see your neighboring, your neighboring frames of the section B. You, you, you are at any point of the sphere. You see your neighboring frames, and you see that the, that uh, you you can get to them through uh, this radial radial screw motions. But uh, that cannot uh, happen in in R three or, or, or hyperbolic space, uh, as you may have uh, guessed. Yes, because. Uh, there, there is, there are no local sections of the which are optimal screwed. No. Well, uh, now we pass to something. Uh, now, now I, I, I have uh, a, a section of the oriented um, of the of the a section of of the um, oriented orthonormal free boundary of a three dimensional manifold, a three dimensional Riemannian manifold, and I can, given the the, um, the section, I can define the vorticity of the section, which is a function defined on the unit tangent bundle. So for 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 a direction B, the uh, the vorticity is defined in this way. You make the scalar product with BB. So for for instance, positive vorticity of B of the section means that at any point moving according to B in any direction, in, in any direction you move, uh, this direction along you are moving forms an, ang an angle smaller than pi over two with the rotation 
uh, axis to give uh, this gives uh, uh, some some feeling of vorticity. Well, and now uh, suppose uh, now that was that was uh, uh, any Riemannian three dimensional Riemannian manifold now oriented. Now uh, I I take uh, m to be a constant section of curvature zero one or, ma or minus one. That is R three. Uh, S3 or hyperbolic space, three dimensional hyperbolic space. And, and this is GK, is G kappa is the, the group of isometries, the com com connected component. It acts freely and transitively on the space of, on the, on the, on the orthonormal frame bundle. So we can identify the, the orthonormal frame bundle with the a group uh, of rigid motions of the manifold. And now uh, I will define on, on the group a bi-invariant pseudo-Riemannian metric, which will have to do much with vorticity. In this way, I will define a bi-invariant pseudo-Riemannian metric of signature 3-3. Three, three. This is six dimensional, this is a split metric, such that for any section, given a section, then the section has positive vorticity if and only if it is space-like. Space-like means a, a, a section. A section is as I, I can determine as a manifold of G K. So space-like means, that, as you know, that the metric induced on the three-dimensional submanifold of the orthonormal bundle determines, ah, determined by the section, uh, the induced metric is positive definite. That, that is, as you know, what the uh, space line means. That is Riemannian. So, uh, so this, this metric is, um, is related with vorticity in this way. And we are looking, we, we are looking for um, uh, I, I, I posed a question at the beginning, this question we, which is which was not uh, uh, very well posed, but uh, now we have some uh, something to uh, now we can precise uh, not, at, not not completely, but uh, but uh, in which direction we are going. Uh, so we are I, I, we are going, to study the, the volume of this of this section, to measure vorticity, we will study uh, the the volume of, of this section of the orthonormal frame bundle. Well, I comment that uh, the, this this pseudo Riemannian metric is not the killing form; it's another one. Well, so ah ah yeah. Well, in is so here. And, and, and I comment uh, the volume, regarding volume of pseudo Riemannian manifolds, we have that, uh, I, I, I comment on this uh, particular case, the Lorentz plane is the space, uh, in the Lorentz plane, the space like straight lines, this uh, maximize the length. There is a, uh, so instead, in the Riemannian case, we have geodesics that that are local minima of the um, of the length, and and this in this case we have uh, they are local maxima as as we know from from relativity, yes. But uh, when I have make a picture here, uh, this uh, two uh, blue lines they are the null null lines. This in red is the the, the circle of unit vectors with the hyperbolic circle, which is actually uh, an hyperbola, an hyperbola, uh, hyperbola, and it is concave, not convex. And so we have a, a, the, a reverse triangle inequality. So the, the, the triangle inequality as we know it, but uh, the other way around. Hmm? So this picture, if you if we if you don't have some some uh, some patience with uh, with 
uh, will convince us that uh, the, the, the triangular inequality here is reversed. So we are interested in, in here in pseudo Riemannian uh, geometry, we are interested in maximizing uh, things, maximizing, because uh, minimizing uh, it, it's not interesting because you can go to the, to the, null, to the null cone uh, uh, as you want, and, and the, this will be extremely small. So we are interested in maximizing things in, in pseudo Riemannian geometry. And now I, I recall the definition of define. What does it mean that the sum, that the sum manifold uh, has maximal volume in, in, a hom in its homology class? So I have uh, N, the ambient manifold, the pseudo Riemannian with signature MM. Uh, sorry, I can, I, uh, here I have uh, the, the picture is uh, the Laurentian case. It is, but uh, I, um, I didn't have the enough dimensions here. It, the situation is real, is actually a split signature. Huh? But the, just to, to draw something, I, I drew this uh, Laurentian case. So let M be an M-dimensional spa space like some manifold, like this I have a picture, in the picture here, possibly not compact. Uh, M dimensional is, uh, that is half, di half, di half dimensional, that is the, the, maxim the maximal dimension for, for a space like manifold. And I want to say, what, the, what does it mean that it has, that it maximizes volume homologically? That means the following. We take uh, an open, uh, some manifold M, or uh, manifold, an open set, you with, with compact closure and put and consider B also dimension N, also space like as you with the same boundary and homologous. V, this V, this Rosa V must be homologous to you. That means uh, that uh, there is no, no hole in between, between you. And this, uh, that, that M maximize the volume homological, that it, the, the means the following, that volume of U is uh, greater or equal to the volume of B uh, for all U and V as above. Here actually it seems that, uh, that V is, has ma uh, bigger volume, but well, you know what I mean. That, and that is the definition of volume, homologically volume maximizing. And, and here we have the, the results, the uh, some, some, thing, some, some manifolds that, that, are, uh, that are volume maximizing homologically. For instance, this optimal screwed section of the sphere, this, uh, this of the quaternions I, I told you before, this is uh, volume maxi. This is so nice, it's, it's nice in every aspect, yes? <laughs> How could possibly not maximize volume? Yeah? Well, it maximized the volume homologically. And then in, in R3, in R3, we have this section, this, uh, uh, which is uh, volume maximizing, is a, a screw radial local section of the, with variable angular, angular speed. I will tell you, this is a screw radial local section, but variable angular speed. With, with, uh, you are at the origin, with, uh, with your body at the origin, and in any direction, we will, you will rotate the, the, the body along, uh, around that direction, but uh, always, always with smaller and smaller, smaller and smaller uh, angular velocity uh, until you are right to P, uh, until half a turn. And then uh, the sum manifold of, of, the, of the frame boundary collapses. At P, the, it collapses because then uh, it, uh, it, uh, it becomes, uh, then if you go beyond pi, 
then then there there will appear there, there will appear some some direction of, of negative vorticity hmm? so it is this section is defined in in an open ball of, of r3 and you you go away you go away with those screw radial uh, section and and you actually you are going to one point it, it will be a one point compactification of something but well and and here it is the precise the precise this theta and h give give uh, gives you the the precise rate at which uh, you how you have to do dosify i don't know the word uh, the how you which is the the angular speed exactly at this uh, at this angular speed depending of how far you are from the origin is that you get a, a maximal maximal volume of a, and so uh, this way uh, this this would be the uh, this answer the question which is the, the best one well in some sense uh, that I uh, uh, that I described uh, uh, before uh, this is the one of the best ones well and how how I when, how can one um, prove that something is volume uh, maximizing how how one proves uh, that things that uh, some manifold is uh, has maximal volume. Well, using calibrations. Well, in, in the Riemannian context, uh, calibrations in the, in the Riemannian, it is uh, the, the classical situation. Yeah? Calibrations detect some manifolds of minimum volume in a homology class. The, the calibrations, examples of calibrations uh, are known from, from very, since very long ago. Wirtinger, uh, but this uh, Carbian Lawson in '82 is what was a breakthrough. Uh, it's a it's a marvelous paper. This for me, well, it, I'm not the only one that uh, that thinks about that. Well, so uh, detect some some manifolds on minimum volume in an homology class. For instance, if there exists a calibration in 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 this case, it will detect that uh, this. Uh, a red circle has a smaller length. Yeah, here is one dimensional volume is length, yes? So uh, it will detect that this uh, red circle is, has smaller length than this uh, uh, green one, even if the green, the green circle is very far away, but uh, the calibration will detect it. So, uh, Calibrations are much more powerful than, than calculus of variations. Calculus of variations, you 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 minimize or when you when you take the, the trouble of, of taking second derivatives, you minimize locally locally. But this is much powerful, much more powerful. So uh, this uh, small rosa circle is not in, in the in the homology class uh, of the red one. So um what and another another thing i i should have a, draw a, a circle also here also here a circle because the union of, of this circle which of this circle which i haven't uh draw in the picture this uh, the union of this circle and this one this union is a uh, not connected manifold but it has this union has the same uh, is in is homologous to to this one to the red one that will uh, in in this case the, the 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 sum of the length of this and this one is bigger than uh, than 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 the length of the red uh, circle and this will be detected by the calibration too well so this uh, this is the Riemannian classical context, but we are now working with pseudo Riemannian context, and it's the same, but uh, only one takes space lags, only specs, space lags and manifolds, and they will maximize the volume homologically, not minimize, but maximize the volume homologically. So 
Uh, now, uh, bueno, this is uh, some, some to tell you what uh, calibrations do. And now I tell you uh, what calibrations are. Uh, well, in the definition of calibration, I will cheat with the orientation because if I take care of the orientation, it, 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 is, uh, it takes too long. But uh, you, you, you will understand. So uh, the definition. Let n be, um, this is not a general calibration. It's um, something more, more for, for not very particular, but not the more general case, the most general case. So let n be, this is the ambient manifold. N is a split pseudo Riemannian manifold of six signature mm. A calibration of n on this uh, is a closed m form. Five, such that if you take any orthonormal space like subset, subset of the manifold, uh, uh, any orthonormal space like um, of, of, of with m with m vectors. Uh, of any tangent uh, at any point, this, this must be space-like. This will be uh, uh, well. Then you you evaluate phi. That is, uh, you take the volume of uh, the phi volume, say so to say, the phi volume of the of the parallel field determined by by this basis, and it is bigger or equal to one. Hmm? This is a calibration. And what does it mean that, uh, that the space like some manifold of dimension M, of half the dimension, it is calibrated by, by this form if here equality holds, if equality holds here. That is uh, on an on a, on orthonormal basis, with, uh, uh, equality holds, uh, for ba for basis of the for for a basis of the of the tangent uh, space of the submanifold, hmm? so you take an orthonormal basis of the of the submanifold, you evaluate as five, and uh, you don't get bigger, strictly bigger. You get one. Yeah, one said that uh, the manifold is calibrated, and the theorem says that calibrated space like submanifolds maximize the volume homologically. This is Mealy in 91. Uh, Mealy was a student, or I don't remember whether it was of Harvey or Lawson. And this is, uh, this, uh, this are, um, these are very simple to prove these theorems. The, 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 the thing is to, in, in, in a couple of, in once you once you have the calibration in a couple of this theorem is the theory, the proof is three lines long or, or so uh, calibrations are are the thing of calibration is to to find them find to find calibrations is uh, is some is something uh, for me it was very difficult I, I calibrate. I try. I always try trying to calibrate something so I, since uh, twenty five years, and I manage uh, uh, four times. Uh, for instance, uh, you have to, be, to to find a closed. Maybe maybe you think ah this this some manifold should be calibrated. So you find a calibration, but uh, I I will, I normally work in the invariant invariant case and so I managed to write down but but then the end to, to prove in an invariant case to prove that something is close is it's not simple and then it, it ends up not to being closed well calibrated um, uh, find new calibrations it seems that it's, it's interesting and it pays well what? Marcos, uh, yes. may I ask one question? This yes. theorem of Mealy, Mealy, I don't know how to pronounce it, it holds only for split signature or for more general signature? Uh, no, uh, this, um, I, th there are, uh, there are different types of, of calibrations. Okay. Uh, 
this I, in this case I have worked with uh, with special ones which are called special Lagrangian. Okay. And these are for uh, for split signature. Okay, okay. But there are also others one that, that that are not for not only for um, for split. I, there are also uh, some some people in the audience have mm -hmm. or, or have worked or, or knows know the uh, calibrations in for G, G associated to octonions or something yes. like that. That then that is no, not anymore needed uh, the um, signature. Okay, okay, thank you. And well, and so. Um, uh, so uh, I have I have these two theorems uh, that uh, some manifolds uh, which maximize volume homologically, and uh, this one the the case the, this um, this section this very nice section of the orthonormal frame boundary of the sphere um, too nice I would say <laughs> this is uh, that maximizes volume homologically. This is uh, done with with a very with a very simple calibration. Those are some somehow trivial calibra calibrations. At the li li at the linear algebra level, they are uh, decomposable. The form is decomposable. Hmm? So one has to to have something like that, which is closed at the and at the linear level and. It, if it calibrates, then it will have a maximum volume. Maximum volume. This is one point calibration with the with the, the form is uh, decomposable. In general, the, the forms are not decomposable. Yes. And uh, for this other theorem, uh, this one the, of this screw radial section defined on the ball. It is also defined on well, it doesn't matter. On the ball, um, I used a, a split special Lagrangian. Split special Lagrangian. In the article, I I put emphasis on the on on the on the calibration more more than in the results. Uh, the the I think people are more interested uh, in, in new examples of calibrations than in vorticity. So the, the emphasis was, was put in the, in, the, in the method. Well, uh, in theorem C, we use a split special Lagrangian calibration. I told you, I tell you how it is at, at the Lie algebra, uh, no, at the, perdón, uh, sorry, at the linear algebra, oh, Lie algebra, no, no, no. At the linear algebra, I I wanted I meant I mean linear algebra level. So how do they look like uh, at the linear algebra level? Level is uh, one form in uh, on R M cross R M. Uh, so N is uh, is a, a split uh, pseudo Riemannian manifold. Yes. So the tangent bundle is isometric to R M cross R N. With a with an inner product such that each factor is null. Each factor is is null is null, and uh, the inner product is defined as follows. Uh, e one e m is a, is a basis of the first factor. Epsilon one, epsilon m is a basis of the second factor. Uh, this means that uh, that each factor is null. Is null. Sorry. And the inner product is here. Uh, EI scalar product with epsilon j, this delta ej. This is a, 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 an inner product of, of signature mm in Rn. And Warren, uh, Warren, Warren rediscovered, re, rediscovered uh, the, um, the um, the paper, the, the results of Mealy, um, many many years uh, after, after that, re rediscovered that 
but uh, he was uh, very clever and, and he used uh, null coordinates and it is uh, much more workable. You know, one can work uh, with this, uh, this sp uh, split special Lagrangian calibrations of Mealy, uh, put, a, put a in, the, in null coordinates are, are simply as, as, as here. When Warren, uh, he works in, in the Euclidean case, uh, he shows that it is a calibration or, of RMM. This is a calibration. And, well, uh, in our case, uh, it's more complicated, but uh, this, is, uh, uh, this is flat. Yes, RMM is flat. Uh, and our, 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 our manifold is the... The, the total space of the frame band of the orthonormal frame band is uh, is curved, so uh, we have to work hard. Yes, but uh, this is the calibration at the linear algebra level. And as you may suppose, the um, the uh, to uh, that uh, that the manifold calibrates that the manifold is calibrated. Uh, behind uh, you is a, a partial differential equation. Hmm? It's a partial dif differential equ equation that if we uh, write down the um, the calibration the um, in the, the you, if you find the, the equation the equation the, for um, some manifold to be calibrated is uh, is um, is uh, a Montjamper Montjamper type equation uh, yeah, is uh, in coordinates would be full of, of partial partial derivative signs, and now uh, now we are, we are geometers, and uh, so we can our differential equations are are hidden here in in, in nice expressions in in this and this one. Well. Uh, I have all, I have found only one uh, radial radial shot solution. There must be much more. Mm, the, I, I I know very little from EDP, so I, I cannot do anything else that, than that. Well, and and that uh, that is uh, uh, about calibrations. Uh, if I have some, I have a couple of minutes. I. I, I want to make a digression. A digression. I I go I go with you. Escape because what happens? Uh, sorry. Uh, they, they doesn't allow me to to go. Ah yes, yes. I I go I go with you. I go with you. Well, I have this. I consider this uh, pseudo Riemannian metric, uh, which uh, accounted for for the um, distinction between uh, positive vorticity and, and negative vorticity, and the, that was a, 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 a pseudo Riemannian metric. Uh, accounting for for, the, for that dichotomy, and well, now I I would like to to comment that uh, it's the the general case in uh, in general. If you have for for Riemannian manifold, we you you have tangent vectors which are uh, which are longer or shorter, but in for for a pseudo Riemannian manifold, you have tangent vectors which are uh, which have, so to say, dif uh, different qualities, as you know from, uh, as you know from uh, uh, relativity. Yes, uh, the uh, the totally di different quality of, of curves of events uh, due, due to the fact that uh, nothing can go, go, can go uh, faster than than light, and. Um, uh, this is the the, the, um, um, in the I, I would I would like to to, to present other uh, other pseudo Riemannian um, 
uh, many faults accounting for some dichotomy. For example, the in the space of oriented lines, the uh, a curve of lines describes a, a sort of, of helicoidal motion. Uh, you, you have the dichotomy um, positive screw or negative screw. And there is a, a nice pseudo Riemannian metric on the space of lines accounting for for, for that for that difference. Uh, for instance, uh, if you have a, 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 a simple Lie group or non-compact simple Lie group, uh, it may be thought as the isometric group of, of, a, of a manifold of, 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 of a symmetric space of non-positive curvature. So symmet um, non uh, so you have the, the isometry group may be thought of as the, the, the set of, of, rigid, of rigid transformations and a curve of transformation is, it is called a motion. And so uh, the killing form is, uh, provides a, a, a left invariant pseudo Riemannian metric on, on the Lie group that accounts for, for that uh, dichotomy. If you rotate more than translate or, or the other way around, then it would be um, space-like or, or, or time-like. I, well, I share the, I will, I will be ready in a minute. So I, I share to conclude. I have written down uh, these things. And then control L. So the, what I have uh, been uh, telling you. Digression. We introduced a pseudo Riemannian metric on GK accounting for the distinction be between positive and negative vorticity. So pseudo Riemannian geometry is often the appropriate setting when dealing with manifolds possessing two Qualitative, qualitatively different types of tangent vectors, of course, and a, and a third board, borderline type. The paradigm is Lorentzian geometry. I have, I have said that. Well, the further examples: oriented lines in R three or hyperbolic free space uh, move sweeping a helicoidal, a helicoidal like surface. There is a split metric on the space of oriented lines reflecting the dichotomy, right screw, left screw. Uh, this uh, can be done, for instance, in, in R7, using the oriented lines in R7, using the octonionic um, cross product. Another other example is, for instance, the killing form. I, I, thought, I, I told that is what, what I said. Uh, before the killing form on a simply non-compactly group G, which is the isometric group of the symmetric of the symmetric of asymmetric space M with non-positive curvature, a curve uh, a curve of, of rigid transformation is uh, a curve of rigid transformation is a motion, maybe thought of the motion of M. Uh, the pseudo Riemannian metric given by the killing form. Uh, accounts for the distinction between translation lag and rotation lag. Another example is uh, Lie sphere geometry. For instance, the, the, the manifold is the manifold oriented round N spheres. N spheres in, uh, that is, co dimension one spheres in S uh, n plus one. And points are considered to as degenerate case of spheres. So the the, um, the canonical pseudo Riemannian geometry on, on, on this geometry, this sphere geometry, accounts for uh, cutting and not cutting curves of spheres. Here, for instance, I have uh, this, this circle is moving to this, uh, the, the time goes by and it is now this, uh, this circle. This is a space-like space curve of circles in this sphere geometry. This is a time-like because they are not cutting, and this is null. You see the you see the tangents is there. This this would be the the null type, 
and there are more examples for instance um, for instance uh, mm, uh, uh, optimal transport uh, optimal transport the um, pseudo Riemannian there is a, a paper very uh, very um, uh, a celebrated paper in optimal transport that uh, optimal transport is uh, calibrated in pseudo Riemannian geometry. In general, if you have a, a diffeomorphisms of a manifold from M to M, and it, uh, for you it is special, you, you consider that, that it's special in some sense, it may be, it may, uh, there may be the possibility that, that it is uh, also nice in, in it maximize some uh, as a sub manifold on M cross M, it could be maximizing respect uh, with respect to some pseudo Riemannian metric. The, this is the case for for instance with with the optimal optimal diffeomorphism in, in optimal transport. Yeah, this the 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 Earth moving problem. Yes. Well. Uh, so escape, and uh, I'm ready. I I I I, I go with you. Okay. Uh, now, well, uh, thank you very much for the attention. Okay. Well, thank you. Thanks to you, Marcos. Uh, oh, thank you. Uh, yeah. talk. Okay. Now, uh, are there any questions or remarks for Marcos, Enrique? So the first one is a, is a question really, uh, maybe a remark and the second one is a suggestion. So um, you, you, you defined calibrations in, in the uh, pseudo Riemannian setting, you, you defined calibrations upside down, right? Uh, you define them to be point wise bigger than one, right? Yes. Right. And then it's, 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 it's not me by, by Neely and Warren, yes, yes. Sure, sure. It's, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> so nice to blame for this, right? Um, but then, and, and then conclude that uh, that such calibrations are volume maximizing. That's that's fine. But I wonder what, why not define calibrations the usual way? Is it the case that you cannot find actual volume minimizing calibrations in the classical sense in this pseudo Riemannian setting? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, in, in pseudo Riemannian setting, the, the interesting things are the, the maximal ones, because uh, if you go to the, um, if you go, you, you can go as uh, as as uh, as near as you want to uh, near near the the null cone, and then. Uh, uh, you you are going to zero there. Oh, it's the it's because the triangle inequality is yes yes. I see, I see I see you move so that point. You, right. If you go, it, it's easy it's easy go to minimum uh, 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 getting getting smaller is easier it's easier because you go to the you you go to the null cone and it's easier. Right. Yeah. yeah. You, you, right. I, I, I have the equation here. I should have paid more attention to my to my own geodesics. You're right. Uh, a suggestion, though, is um, you, you have this notion of a screwed, uh, optimally screwed uh, vorticity, uh, you know, for for sections of the of the frame bundle. Um, uh, what, what about the seven-dimensional case? Because in the end, you're the, the, you're what, the, 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 the seven, seven, seven-dimensional case. Because seven. yes, because in seven dimensions, uh, uh, given a G two structure, uh, you 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 also have a vector cross product. Yes, and so you also have a, a notion of vorticity, which is now subordinate on the choice of G two structure because because it's no longer canonical. Right, but but it, it depends on the choice of G two structure. So you would have you 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 object of interest would be the sort of panel, right? It would be the subframe B, 
but it also it, that will also involve uh, the choice of a, a vector cross product so that so that you can yes define yes it will yes uh, it's uh, it's a good uh, it's a good thing to to look at, to look at yes and then, then your question becomes what, what is the optimal screwed situation but now this is the condition on the section and the g2 structure combined okay? um, and uh, so you could have uh, more freedom, right? Your section could be sort of not... Uh, because they, they can combine the, the, yeah. the, the... Both things, because it's in, in this three-dimensional right. case was uh, too restrictive, as I said. Yeah, so, in, in three dimensions, there's only one vector cross product. Mm, right? Yes. But, it, but in seven dimensions, mm. uh, there's, a, you know, an average GP structure. I see. One, and they're not equivalent. They're certainly not equivalent in general. I see. Yeah. So the question would be, you know, in, instead of finding this ideal section, it would be to find the pair of a section and a G2 structure, the both of which give you optimally screwed. Mm. No, no, that, that's interesting, yes. Right, but I mean the same. It's the same problem, right? But you, but you know, how you could keep the G two structure fixed and try to find optimal screwed guys there. Mm. You could allow the both of them to vary, mm. and it's, you, right? You, you just have more degrees of freedom to your question, and it might be interesting to have a look at. Mm. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, that that was very interesting. Even on on a seven, it would be very interesting, and we know could be, it could be, it, yes. Right, we don't know. The, the problem is, uh, <laughs> yes, yeah. the problem is calibration are so, so uh, tricky. They, they sometimes they, they resist to exist. <laughs> okay. on, on S7, you have Jason Lotte's paper on uh, the calibrated submanifolds, and they're, they're pretty nice, the associative submanifolds. Oh, yes, yes, there is, there is much in, in calibration in this. Uh, you could have a look and maybe see if, uh, if the usual associative submanifolds mm -hmm. are the calibrations you're looking for. Uh, I, th I think this could be quite interesting. Uh, um, oh, yes, I see, I see. Yes, thank okay. you. All right, cool. I enjoyed the talk very much. Thank you. Are there any other questions or remarks for, for Marcos? Uh, well, maybe I can ask, this uh, split uh, Riemannian, pseudo-Riemannian metric on these isometry groups, are they easy to define or they depend on the killing the, uh, the, um, uh, uh, the, 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 the split, the split Riemannian... Yes, the split pseudo-Riemannian metric on the uh, isometry groups. Yes, yes, yeah, it, it's very easy with the... Uh, with the cross product, you this sort of killing form with some uh, uh, cross product is okay, uh, okay. is a is a short formula. Absolutely. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Uh, yes, I I learned uh, I was uh, very old when I learned that uh, that the Lee that the killing form was not the only by invariant uh, by invariant. Uh, form in, in a Lie group. And, and sometimes I, I find articles when, when say, this is the only one, and say, no, <laughs> look at that. Okay. Great. Uh, Ariane, can I just remind people in the audience of the uh, instructions to join us, because we didn't mention it in the beginning? Uh, yes, uh, of course. So just real quick, if people use WhatsApp, then please uh, join uh, with one click our WhatsApp group so that you get the announcements for the for the upcoming talks. Mm -hmm. And if people use the Google agenda, the very last link in the chat will subscribe you to this Google agenda. So so it will appear in your agenda for your convenience for the rest of the semester and upcoming uh, editions of the of, of the webinar. Right? So this is all for your convenience. Uh, and, and if people want to, to be in the mailing list instead, they can send the word webinar to our email also available on the chat. So the, these are various ways to stay connected with us and to receive the announcements of uh, the, the upcoming talks. That, that, that's just it. Okay. Okay, then after this announcement, if there are no more questions, let us thank Marcos again. Oh, uh, thank you. 
Um, okay, thank you, Marcos. And we hope to see you again in two weeks' time. The speaker will be Mauricio.